Hello and welcome back, I am the Aced Inventor and I like to make things. In this video, we will be building a one-axis gimbal using the MPU 6050 with a servo. The MPU 6050 is an accelerometer from which we will be reading the yaw, pitch, and roll values, but for this one-axis gimbal we only need the roll value. As the accelerometer tilts left and right, we can see that the servo head is keeping the cardboard sheet straight. So before we get into making this project, comment down below what I should make in a future project, and I will try to make it in a future video. If you want to see how it is built, let's get into it. The components needed to make the project are 1 Arduino Nano 1 MPU 6050 1 Servo 1 Breadboard and some jumper wires. We can now move on to the wiring part of this project. Connect the VCC of the MPU 6050 to the 5 volts of the Arduino. Connect the ground of the MPU 6050 to the ground of the Arduino. Connect the SCL of the MPU 6050 to the A5 of the Arduino. Connect the SDA of the MPU 6050 to the A4 of the Arduino. And lastly connect the in pin of the MPU 6050 to D2 of the Arduino. The servo connections are simple. Connect the ground of the servo to the ground of the Arduino. Connect the VCC of the servo to the 5 volts of the Arduino. And finally connect the signal pin of the servo to D4 of the Arduino. Plug your Arduino into your computer. To run this sketch, you will have to download the MPU 6050 library and the servo library. Click on Tools then Manage Libraries. Search MPU 6050. Now download the one by Electronic Cats. I have previously already downloaded this library. We can go ahead and compile the sketch. Now make sure you have selected the correct board, processor, and COM port. Click upload and wait for the program to upload. Once the program is uploaded make sure the MPU 6050 and the servo are pointing towards you. Also make sure that the sensor is on a leveled surface not moving for a few seconds for more accurate results. Now on the serial monitor the roll values should be near zero when the sensor is flat on the ground and the position of the servo should be about 90 degrees. And when I start rotating the sensor clockwise the roll value should decrease. and the servo position should increase. Now when I start rotating the sensor counterclockwise the roll value should increase and the servo position should decrease. This allows the servo to always keep the surface leveled. If you liked my video please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon to always get notified when I upload a new video. I will meet you guys with a new project really soon, bye.